Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be discussing Warhammer The Age of Sigmar 4th edition and it's a pending release this summer and let's have a little chat about what I think hopefully maybe wishlisty what could happen and what could not. Let's also check out some leaked photos. Fourth edition is due to arrive this summer. Everything is pretty much confirmed at this stage, apart from what we're getting in the launch box, but we do know it's definitely Stormcast Eternals and Skaven. Um, there has been a number of leaks, and we are going to be sort of like looking at those photos later on in this video and uh, just having a little look at what it is and, and sort of like speculate what is what and what isn't and everything else. But I just wanted to talk about... Age of Sigma 4th edition. But before we do, if you like my content, smash that subscribe button, uh, like this video, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that I make, and drop a comment if you're excited about 4th edition, because I'm very excited about 4th edition. Can't wait. Um, so yeah, 4th edition Age of Sigma is coming. I'm gonna put in the date now, so you can clip this, that it's gonna be the 22nd of June this summer. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because it's Saturday, they like to release things around about that weekend, and it gives them a good two-week pre-order window from a pretty much the start of the month, and it's like one of the second last um, weekends, and also they've kind of done the same release date for 40k last year. So, I'm expecting the 22nd of June this summer. So 4th edition, it, it's an interesting one. There's a lot of rumours about it. Obviously, we know it's Stormcast Eternals. We also know that it's Skaven. That is pretty much being confirmed. And we've got a little bit more confirmation on the Skaven side in regards to some of the leaked photos that dropped. But what would I like to see in 4th edition? Like, Because obviously the rules are going to change that is a given um the edition is obviously going to change there are going to be doing things differently every edition always does something um now there wasn't massive amounts of changes from second to third edition and the game has been out for what nearly nearly 10 years now i would say nearly 10 years i would say it's nearly 10 years it's got to be nearly 10 years um i mean warmer fantasy battle disappeared in what 2016 2016-ish. Um, so yeah, it's nearly 10 years. So in that time, we haven't really had a major overhaul of the game. Now, first edition wasn't really, I would say, a full complex system like it is today. I don't think that came about until second edition landed and third edition just built upon second edition. So are we going to get an index? And that is an interesting point. I mean, there are rumours and suggestions that Age of Sigma 4th Edition is going to get an index. Um, are we going to get an index? Is it going to happen? Personally, potentially. I mean, if we want to have the changes that I'm going to talk about now, um, it's going to need an index because it, there's just too much um, changes to the War Scrolls and the structure of the game that would ultimately... Um, force the game to have to have an index it just the faq would just be too much so we're going to go on the assumption that we're going to get an index that this is going to be a major addition refresh change uh so we'll go on that assumption so first thing first what i would like to see age of sigma fourth edition bring is characters being a part of units now i think this is a logical sort of step in the direction that the designers are going to take it I mean, if you look at all of the character changes for line of sight and targeting over the past edition, um, in third edition and even in second edition, we kind of went from you can't target them if they're within range to we kind of almost got like a third edition, like a 10th edition, 9th edition type thing with 40k where you can't target characters outside of 12 inches and if they're within an inch of an, a friendly unit um, and if they're within an, an, a friendly unit you minus want to hit them um, to almost being like well yeah like the next logical step would be to put characters um, and hero models into units now is it going to work like 40k um, potentially 
and I can see that kind of working so certain heroes can only join certain units so on and if we look at likes of an army so I'll use my army as an example cities of sigma um, you have likes of your two marshals well technically you've got three there's one on a griffin but he's a monster so he can't join units so we'll just ignore that um, we've got the mounted cavalier marshal who obviously is mounted and on a horse and we have units of cavaliers so it kind of makes sense that he would be able to join them we have the marshal on foot for the free guild it makes sense that he would be able to join free helms uh steel helms um we have the big ogre guy the this guy here this this dude right here that i've got this big boy um we have this guy it would make sense that that model is able to join um fusiliers he has the shield he is a ranged unit hero um wizards and things like that potentially steel helms and 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 command cores now a command core for the cities of sigma makes a perfect example of why a marshal on foot should be able to join them i mean if he's within three inches of them already he gets an invulnerable save or a ward save so it would kind of make sense that he's able to join that command group and walk around in a unit with his command group like a command squad should so yeah there is i think characters joining units is definitely something i think may happen probably will happen it seems to be the most logical step the next thing that i would like to see happen in age of sigma is more on how you compose and build your army and that is bringing in a rule of three now currently in in 40k it's kind of pretty much whatever you want to bring you can bring um as long as you've got a character and at least a battle line unit i believe um you could pretty much bring whatever you want as long as if you don't have sorry you don't need a battle line you just need one character and anything else um there are stipulations on what you can bring so if it's a battle line unit like a tactical squad or a, an intercessor squad you can have a maximum of six of those squads um, if it's a Terminator squad, you can have a maximum of three. And this is the kind of rule I'd like to see them bringing in to Age of Sigma. Now, the force organization chart that Age of Sigma has is very, very good. You can have up to six characters for a 2,000 point game. You have to have a minimum of three battle line units. And you, can have un you can't have any more than four artillery pieces and four monsters and three endless spells although i don't think endless spells are going to be around in the new edition there's always hoping um because i think not every army has them and quite honestly just yeah they're a bit of annoying so just get rid of them um so as of the the sort of force organization chart i do think potentially um, the rule of three would work for the all other units that you have that don't fit into those boxes so all other units maximum of three so that means if you're playing a Idana deepkin and this is not a dig at those competitive players that do play deepkin and bring nothing but sharks and a turtle and all have them as individual units um yeah that kind of disappears and it kind of opens up more army builds and more armies that actually look like armies because in the early days of 8th edition 40k i remember seeing people bringing nothing but storm ravens and it looked absolutely retarded um so yeah i would like to sort of see that a little bit more of that brought into age of sigma obviously i've mentioned endless spells i'd love to see them go and i'd like to see the battle plans and the sort of match play side of things sort of change up to a bit now i'm not a massive fan of battle tactics i would love to see battle tactics disappear i think battle tactics are pretty crap um, they were really good in the beginning of the edition um, when you had to like run three units, take an objective, kill a unit after you've already lost a unit, slay a general, that kind of stuff, or slay a monster. They were pretty good and you really were only required to do one thing. But some of the battle tactics nowadays is like you've got to charge with a hero and a battle line unit and they have to be staying in combat by the end of the combat phase. And it's a bit naff because... If you think about it you know you don't really want to hit a unit in combat and go right i don't really want to kill you especially if you're playing an army like corn who is pretty much going to hit you and then obliterate you um and it's a bit uh, yeah i don't I, it's i like the idea of charge with a battle line and a hero that's a good battle tactic but the stipulation that the rest of it um yeah it's it's it always seems to be just they've added additional stuff and it's just a little bit too much and some armies can't always do them um like i'm looking at the cities of sigma here those battle tactics are oh, crap 
um, you have to massively build into the army. If you don't want any mounted units in your army, you've lost the battle tactic. If you don't want to bring any fusiliers and shooting, you've lost two battle tactics. If you don't want to bring a command core, you've lost the battle tactic. Um, if you only play dwarfs or dark elves, you've lost four battle tactics. So, you know, it's a bit, they're a bit limited um, and they're a bit restrictive. And I would like to see your army builds not be built around the fact that you have to take certain units and certain things to score points in the game. You should just be able to score points for killing things, taking objectives, slaying warlords and stuff like that. I like the old classic classic sort of scoring method in fantasy and 40k where you've got points for scoring objectives you've got points for killing units you've got extra secondaries for things like slaying the warlord line breaker and all that kind of good stuff so yeah let's just do it that way so there's some of the changes that i would like to see um made to fourth edition and obviously i don't know because there's i there's been no leaks or anything of this but we have do have leaks and we're going to look at them now oh yeah so here are leaky leaky photos leaky photos and we're gonna guess that this is coming from germany because germany always seems to get the leaks when it comes to books first um but what can we see in this well clearly that is the rule book we have a call rule book and we're still keeping with the red and that sort of red border at the top and um and this is kind of this is what opens me up to thinking are we actually going to get an index here or uh, is it just going to be a, just a new edition because um they're keeping up the same stylized that we've got for third edition which makes me think are we getting it so we've got obviously a rule book here at the top when you can see that stormcast eternal on the front cover it says core book which i'm assuming is the core rule book and over here in the down in the left hand corner we can see a white book which also says core book and it looks like that's a fancier book so this is probably your collector's edition of the rule book which is kind of cool to see now one of the things i will say is on the right hand side of this top right hand corner there is a battle tome upside down now i am going to hazard a guess that looking at that big monster near that barcode that that is a rat ogre for the up and coming skiven maybe so yeah there's definitely that's definitely some uh that's definitely a skaven um a book now they're clearly new prints obviously they're definitely a new book um and a new um a new sort of called rule book but that's not all we we do have other pictures there are this one as well which is being leaked and these are kind of looking like pages from the printer that is definitely maps of um one of the regions uh, that looks like the celestial prime maybe um sort of artwork and that is a soul blight grave lords vampire as well so it's kind of cool obviously in amongst all these leaked photos was also the leaked imperial agents of the imperium codex um pages as well which was kind of cool i'm sure chapter master valrak is feeling very vindicated with that one um but yeah it's um it's very exciting like it's definitely coming so all of the all of the naysay is saying that fourth edition may not necessarily come this summer you can't always guarantee it well we can we know that games workshop are pretty much going to smash out a new edition of 40k and age of sigma every three years and it's three years for age of sigma so we're getting it um but yeah it's pretty exciting stuff and i'm really liking these leaks which also means that probably i'm expecting about end of may for pretty much the full rule book to already be out leaked on the internet i pretty much guarantee um but yeah but that's my that's my sort of just a talk, a talk and a chat about fourth edition i think it'll i think it's going to be interesting i'm super looking forward to it like i said age of sigma is my main game um i absolutely love age of sigma it's been an absolute blast playing these past three editions and i'm always excited for a new edition new edition is kind of cool because we don't know what we're going to get we don't know what we're going to do and we don't know how things are going to go um but i'm definitely excited for age of sigma fourth edition so um yeah so let me know in the comments below what you think we may get what you are hoping that the edition brings like i've give you mine you know i'm hoping that the force organization chart changes and the spells are binned and uh rule of three gets implemented for match play and um characters join units there's a lot more we could probably talk about of uh, wish listing of rules and stuff but to be quite honest i think age of sigma is in a pretty really good place right now with balance and rules 
Um, so it would be a bit of a shame that Games Workshop completely and utterly gives us an, an entirely new edition, a new game, without really sort of bringing in a lot of what 3rd edition has done well. And 3rd edition has been a very, very good edition. Um, so yeah, yearly general handbooks is definitely something that should stay. But, like, I'm going to call the video now, so if you like my content, please like, subscribe, share, and smash the belly button thing so you don't miss out any content. And you can check out my um, other stuff like members area and Patreon if you really, really want to support me in other ways. But I will catch you all in the other videos. See you later. Bye-bye.